Before the explosion was ruled as a criminal act, investigators were looking into a potential gas leak or even some furnace problems. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now with more on how some heating and cooling companies in the Lafayette area may be using the explosion to their own benefit. Yeah, Dan, it's actually kind of disturbing to hear, but a man tells us his elderly mother um, was actually pressured to buy a brand new furnace when her old one broke down. Now, he says their estimate of $5,000 plus came with scare words. Now, she wants her story told so others won't be scared or conned out of their money. It's that time of year when having a working, running furnace is of the utmost importance. That's why Ruben Guzman was so concerned when his 74-year-old mother's furnace stopped working last week. He says he's thankful it hasn't been really cold outside. If it was like 10 below zero, uh, that might have made some people made a make a, a decision, a rash decision. Because it wasn't cold. Guzman says a repairman for a heating and cooling company had to use different tactics in order to get his mother to make a rash decision, a five to six thousand dollar decision at that. He was using some uh, like scare words, the explosion in Indianapolis and carbon monoxide, which that's understandable, and uh, didn't really get into the options. Owner of Heartland Heating and Cooling, Todd Miller, says there are plenty of options. He says sometimes an old furnace may need to be cleaned or it may just need a new part. He says in order to protect yourself from getting scared into an unnecessary purchase, ask and look around. Always, always get a second opinion. Um, two or three. Um, most companies offer a free, uh, you know, estimate. Miller also advises people to be informed about a new law which will require newly installed furnaces and air conditioning units to meet a 90% efficiency rating. He says companies will say it's cheaper to install those before May 1st of next year, but eventually homeowners will save in efficiency. Todd Miller says some other tips to protect yourself from getting conned. Talk to neighbors and friends about which companies they prefer. Also, take advantage of free estimates and really listen to what the companies have to say. Brittany Tyner, News 18.